Everybody, this is Shalini Arora Coacher. Being a happiness coach, I've been thinking that for a happy life, what do we need? We certainly don't need to become 100% awesome in a day, but all we need to do is to get better by 1% every day. So I decided to do a series that can help us all in fixing those 1% issues that if resolved can make us 1% better each day. Beloved statistics say that if our work desk and living spaces are clean and organized, then we are 84% more interested in doing what we are doing at these places as we feel calm and dedicated towards our actions. So the first thing that's required for a stress-free and happy life is organizing our spaces. And here are Shalini's seven quick fixes to organize your desk and organize your life. Fix number one. Create a personal space. The first thing is to have a personal space at both office and home. There are things you bring to work and home every day that need to go somewhere like your purse, wallet, phone or keys on your office desk or office files, pen drives, laptops on your living room table. Your personal belonging at work and your office collaterals at home should have a designated specific area otherwise they'll not just look clutter but we'll keep reminding you of the things that you're not supposed to do right now. Also keep your phone out of sight and you'll reduce the amount of distraction that you experience at your desk. Note that I'm not advising you to ignore your wife's call at work because this may uh, cause us stress later on. Just kidding. Fix number two, do a purge. It probably goes without saying, but if you're looking to get organized, you're going to do need to do a purge. Go through each item in your desk, whether at office or home, and ask yourself if you really need it. Keep the stuff you do and simply toss away the stuff you don't. And honestly, you're only making things useless for yourself by picking up a takeout menu from a now closed restaurant. So don't do this. If you think there are documents which you know you may need later on, then just scan them and keep the soft copy and trash the hard copies. Do it for once and you'll see how relaxed you feel after throwing away a few items that aren't necessary. Fix number three, one mind, one thing. Whether you know this or not, but multitasking is almost impossible. Our mind can only focus on one thing at a time and instead of trying and failing, focus your attention on a single task at a time. To further organize, make the one thing that you're working on the only thing that gets to occupy space on your desk and everything else should be put away or else multitasking will blow your precious mind you know time away and make you errors in the accomplished work i guess that's why drinking and driving are illegal does that come in multitasking actually <laughs> fix number four digital is vital it's a digital age and we need to get into the habit of religiously using our digital calendar memo and note-taking apps to keep a track of your, you know, our projects, to-dos and reminders. When you reach the point where you've created an automated system in which things are getting organized on their own and you don't require to remember everything, then you are one step closer to a serene work environment. Scientists say that an average person can hold up to three to four things in their mind at any given point in time. How many things are you dealing with every day? Let me tell you. On an average, you have about 36,000 thoughts and 12 to 15 tasks and around four things in your mind at any point in time throughout the day. My favorite app is Google Keep, available for Android and for iOS mobile marketing, or, or sorry, operating systems. And it offers a variety of tools for taking notes, including text, lists, images, audio, reminders, calendars, much more. If you're already using any such program, then please do let us know in the comments below. Fix number five, set priorities and achieve results. The best way to sort things is by their importance of completion. Not just your tasks should have priorities marked to them, but arrange your desk items priority wise. Even when you're trying to figure out where in your desk to store something, ask yourself, how often you use or need it? If it's not very often, Put that item somewhere less accessible than items you require frequently. Setting priorities to tasks and articles on your station 
also helps tremendously while decluttering and cleaning. Studies explain that we spend around two hours every day in searching for things and another one hour in putting back those which unnecessarily got pulled out while in, you know, in the process. It's simple. Keep things in front which are used frequently and out of sight which aren't. Fix number six. Keep inventory or should I say inventory. Inventory is the list of articles that you have to keep you know, at work and at home. Inventory management is crucial to keep a track of things that you use so that you can replenish them on time and avoid stocking up too much of something that you don't require. After creating inventory, all you need to do is check on it regularly and you know, regular intervals. And once you start doing this, you'll realize that there's nothing more and nothing less at your desk. Remember, 80% of the things in your inventory are used lesser than the rest of the 20%. So keep and replenish them accordingly. Unless of course your kids at home or colleagues at work have peeked into your desk and you know, use some of your things, then it's a different story. Fix number seven, do regular cleanup. Nothing will work if you're not persistent in cleaning your spaces regularly. Things can only look clean if they're cleaned regularly. Doing all the fixes I explained just for once and forgetting it later won't do you any good. Once a week, give your desk a thorough inspection to deal with any trash you missed, to put back office collaterals that have you know, fallen out of place, folders that have uh, just been misplaced, or even the files that have somehow managed to sneak their way into your computer or a desktop. A tray is a great way to keep things organized and easy to find the last formula for cleaning up is simple. The more often you do it, the less time it will take. So these were Shalini's seven fixes for organizing your desk that ultimately helps in organizing your life. If you have more fixes to tell me and all my viewers, then please do share in the comment box below. I'll be back next week with another exciting Shalini 7 episode to help you live a happy and stress-free life. So see you in the next and keep watching Shalini Says. Until next time.